Hi, my name is Tanner Mott, and I play Billy Nolan in Mackay Theatre and Choir's Carry the Musical. So, Billy Nolan is a senior in his 20s who is kind of like a, a leader figure to all of the other guys. Now, he's not like the other guys. Like, all the other guys are just jocks and football players, but he's, he's just a more laid-back and chilled kind of guy. He's also in a relationship with Chris, played by Bailey Ousley, and he's basically a follower to everything that she says. Like, everything that she says is what's going to happen. Like, her plan to pour blood all over Carrie on prom night. And overall, he's just, he's basically just a prick. I mean, he picks on Tommy, he picks on the teacher, he's just an overall loser who doesn't care about anything. So getting into this character, it's it's honestly been the hardest character I've had to play because in real life, I'm nowhere near as masculine as he is. So what really helped me with that is the costume. And I had a white v-neck shirt, some black baggy ripped up jeans, like some torn up shoes. Um, a bunch of chains everywhere, a bunch of rings, and then finally, the thing that really pulled it all together was just the leather jacket. Like, I've never had a role to where the costume was so important that it changed how I played the character, but the leather jacket, it was like, I don't know what it was. It was just once I put it on, I felt like Billy. I, I felt like I was 100% in the character, which really helped, like, for the final two weeks of the rehearsals after the costume because I could finally start feeling confident with myself and playing Billy Nolan. So, for the makeup, I had Vivian West help me a lot with that, and she did my eyeliner, and she put a bunch of stubble on me, like for the beard and the mustache, which just really brought the age to the character. So, throughout the rehearsal process, it was very hard. I mean, just becoming the character, it was a hard task, for me at least. Like, it would probably be easier for others, but just because like, of who I am as a person outside of theater, I'm nowhere near him. So it was just very hard to nail the character and really get into that character. Like, it took about two to three weeks to finally feel confident in myself playing Billy. Like, I was afraid that I would be one of the weakest links because I just did not feel confident in myself. So the rehearsal process really taught me that, like, even though you're not feeling confident with yourself, you really have to keep trying because eventually you will get there and you will succeed. I think one of the sillier challenges that I had with the character was just getting those intimate moments with Chris down because Chris and Billy both have a relationship that's very raunchy. So just getting those scenes where they display that raunchiness down was was very difficult and kind of awkward, but getting closer with Bailey Ousley and having a better chemistry really helped bring those scenes together and made it feel a lot less awkward. So before a show, I would rehearse with the group, obviously, and then I would do all of my diaphragmic warm-ups, and then I would go off on my own, and I would just rehearse my songs over and over and rehearse the notes over and over because singing as Billy was a challenge for me because I'm not a 20-year-old senior, so my voice still sounds like a little high schooler. So trying to get that age and making it sound good was just a big challenge. So I would just do that every time we had a show. I would just rehearse and rehearse and rehearse. Performing means a lot to me. Before I joined Mackay Theater, I, I was in a pretty dark place. And then I joined theater and I found all of these amazing people who just really care about you. And that's what, I, that's what I love about theater the most, is that you have all of these people from all the grade levels who just care so much about you, and you never feel like you're not loved because it's like one big, giant family. You're always going to have someone there for you. you all, you're always going to feel loved, and that's what I love most about it because even when I was struggling with this character, there were people there to support me and saying that I was doing a great job, and it, it really just lifted my spirits and... That's just what I love most about theater. Well, I hope you had fun listening and learned something from my experience in Carrie the Musical, because if not, then you losers can kiss my ass.